So I'm going to move on to uh, the power supply unit that is located in this caravan. It's into the offside front seat area. And when we expose this area, we will see some other bits of equipment in here as well, because we're going to have the combi boiler located underneath this front seat, uh, which is made by a company called Truma. Uh, so we'll, we'll see that now. So what I'm going to do, just to make it easier for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just remove these two cushions out of the way, so the backrest and the base cushion. It's easier if I just take these completely out of the way, just so you can see what I'm referring to on equipment-wise. So the power supply unit, as it says there on that uh, top edge of the silver edge there, uh, is a, the distribution of mains and also 12 volts. We're on the 12 volt side of, uh, of the system. We need this particular switch to be in, which is the on position, or if it's out, it's off. Well, in, because I can run my finger straight over the top of it like so. I've just made it go out now because I've touched it. So press it back in. We get a couple of bleeps emitted from the panel above the door. But I'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, and that's basically your 12 volt system live, but you have got to come across to the command panel to actually turn everything on by that command panel. But just to also finish off on the 12 volt side here, we've got a bank of fuses. You're gonna see there's, I think there's 10 of them, two, four, six, eight, there's 10 fuses there. There can be up to 13 because you're gonna find three spaces are not used. Um, on a caravan situation. If it was a motorhome, you will find that the remaining three fuse holders will be used. Uh, and the only item we've got here is a green light on, which is for the charger. Uh, if I take the charger, mains charger out, the green light's now come off. If I put the mains charger back on, which I've now done, I've got a green light now appeared back on the panel, so I know the charger itself is working correctly. If you do get any other illumination of the lights that uh, appear immediately behind, below these fuses on this front edge, uh, that is going to then indicate that that fuse, if this light was on for instance, this fuse is now blown. So you'd pull that fuse out, find another 10 amp blade fuse and insert it back into the holder and that will bring the supply through to that particular appliance. To understand what those fuses serve, if I just load the front face of this bed frame down, we get a little sticker located on the inside of the door and we're using the one to 10 because obviously uh, we've only got 10 fuses. 11, 12 and 13 are for motorhome use as it says on the label. But if you just follow that sequence down there, it will tell you what that particular fuse serves within the touring caravan. While I'm also on the label, I may as well just explain also on the main side, there's uh, one, two and three here, which is for the MCBs, which I'll mention in a moment when we come onto the main side. And it just tells you what those particular MCBs serve within the caravan again on the main side. So 12 volts, establish it by turning the supply on. I know the battery charge is working, so I know I've got mains present and I can just turn that part off. On the mains, when you first couple up to mains via the orange cable here on the outside of the caravan, you should test uh, this particular button here. It's called the RCD, residual circuit device. Uh, and the way you test it is to press the gray button in. And when I do that, that lever should trip out. What that will indicate is I have got mains present. If I haven't got that action taking place there, I haven't got a main supply coming into my caravan. So I need to go back to the site office or to the site post and just make sure that everything's engaged properly. The MCBs, are these three items here, which are to the right hand side of the RCD. Those items there, it says MCB1, MCB2 and MCB3. And they say on the label on the inside of this door, it tells you what they actually go to serve within the caravan. Sockets, charger, uh, combi boiler, things like that. And then the only other thing you need to be aware of, we want that switch on and that switch on. So the uh, green one is for the charger. So it's charging, that's the charger itself, this item here on the outside edge. That charger there is uh, supplying main, uh, a main supply transformed down to 12 volts to charge that laser battery. And the orange light is to tell us that the combi boiler has got a main supply going to it. That's the combi boiler in there, made by Truman. So just to finish off in the bed box area here, we've got uh, the water pump system. So this is the pump system. This is a drain down valve. This is the uh, item that you need to raise. You can hear water gushing away. It's dropping onto the floor underneath, so the ground underneath the caravan, and that would be to drain the system down. So you open that up when you're ready to drain water out of this system. This is your water pump. 
and that's the expansion chamber because this is a pressurized water system so it allows for expansion within this uh, item here for it to uh, regulate itself uh, and there's nothing really too much more to tell you in here apart from there is a mains battery fuse just there it's a separate one it's a uh, individual one for the supply coming off the battery that's the first fuse into the caravan so on the command panel uh, we come to the swift logo we hit that to turn it to make it come live the first panel or hopefully the menu you come to is uh, this particular menu here it's got lots of information then there's about solar energy which is this little flashing light here then there's about how good the leisure battery is it's also the zigzag saying we've got mains electrics this is a clock and that's the date and internal temperatures external temperature humidity things like that so a little bit of brief information about the uh, caravan weather conditions uh, and then basically you're coming on to the different menus uh, if we come onto the lights we've got them turned on if i turn that one off you can see these lights are now going off at the front end and if i did the other one then i'm turning lights off at the back end of the caravan but i'll turn them back on again for the display so that's very quickly we can dim those lights down if i uh, use the minus button you can see that i'm now lowering the light level and that's this one here that i'm adjusting as you can see i'm now going to bring that back up to 100 percent hopefully okay so that's brought it back up to its full intensity you can do the same on the rear section of the caravan and then back to the home button so that's how you turn lights on awning light just in case of hitting that button there to turn the awning light off this panel but you can also do it off your key fob uh, so that's just the operation of the awning light that's to turn the water pump system on which i'm going to need on because uh, i'm going to demonstrate that to you in a moment and heating radio and fridge we'll come back to the radio and uh, just to actually say that there will be a full detailed video uh, which we'll send on the link for this particular item the command and also for the Truma combi boiler uh, I'm only going to give you a brief workings of it now so moving on to the heater then uh, when we first come to it I'll just have it in an off position hopefully there we go okay so the heater's in off position now if we hit the round scroll button this round button here and press and hold till it comes on there we go it's live press it again I'm going to get a variation of symbols this is to do with the room temperature. So if I go into it, I'm accessing it. And at the moment it's in an off position, but I already know it's 15 degrees in here. So I'm gonna raise it to about 20 degrees. Press it to confirm that's the temperature you want it to get to. Still got a flashing symbol, but I've got a solid one above it. I'm gonna explain what they're for in a moment. Gonna to come to the next symbol. So what I've done is just scrolled it from the motown to the next symbol. And that's to do with, if I press it, hot water and it's in an off position. I now can have it either on eco or I could have it on hot. I'm going to access it on hot, that's how I want it to be. There is a third one called boost, but I only use that very little, but uh, leave it on hot for now for the demonstration. And then I'm going to come to the energy source. So I've scrolled that round button again, going from those to that symbol there, press it in again. At the moment we're on electric, just on one kilowatt, but I could have it on two or I'm going to have it on a mixture of gas and mains now. So that's mixture one. That's what I've asked it to do. And at the moment, I could go to the next one, which is fan. I can have it on eco or could have it on high, but I'm just going to have it on eco. So that's just very quickly the setup on the top section of the menus. When I've got flashing symbols on the top line, it means it's heating up. Yeah, so they're heating up. When I reach temperature, let's just say that one. Let's go back below that 15 and I hit that button there. That's going to come a solid symbol now. There you go. So I have got a flashing light still on the above line, which is the hot water's heating up, but the room thermostat's reached temperature. Very simple operation. I'm going to leave it as that at the moment, working in the background. And as I say, there will be a more detailed video following on uh, with the link so that you can see how that works in, to its full extent. Thank you.